village, a village, a village, a village, a village, a village, a village. I have figured it out, you guys. We are going to make an ooblet village. The more I stared at these tiny little ooblet huts, the more it occurred to me, wait a second. I'm not making a farm. I'm not making a forest. I'm actually building a little ooblet village. One might even call this an ooblet city for ooblet society, depending on, you know, how big we managed to make everything. But the more I look at it, the more it just seems true. Like we should go ahead and move the little houses around so that maybe they have like better yards and we could set it up so that the ooblets could have these cute little like village arrangements. I think that just sounds so freaking adorable. All right, let me actually pull up this oob coop and I want to leave a clear space. So I want one, two, so I want here. That's where I want to go ahead. Oh my gosh, there's actually like weeds literally inside of their oob coop. That would be so rude. But we're going to make an ooblet village instead of trying to pretend that this place is going to be a farm. I really want to go ahead and set things up so that my oob... Ah, there's a fresh weed get out of here. I really want to go ahead and set things up so that we make it like a cute little village for everybody to enjoy. Like we could put one of the sprinklers right over here and just have it constantly growing. Maybe some of the cutest plants so we could have like little flowers and then we could have the trail, like the little path that would keep all of these things at bay. Go away! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Then we would have the trail that would keep at bay all of the uh, the oncoming weeds. Oh geez, and I'm actually like passing out. All right, well, nothing that uh, a little bit of a large learning can't fix. Whoops. All right, all right, fine. Let's go ahead and consume that large learning, get a little bit more zoomy. But I love that idea. Just the more I looked around, the more I, I it just didn't feel right to think about this place as just a farm and the ooblets they seem a little bit like they, they, they deserve a little bit more in their life than just being considered like workers on my farm instead we're gonna think about oh this weed literally just showed up get out of here we're gonna think about this as a future ooblet village the oodles of ooblets oodle doodle yeah oodle, do oodle doodle village try saying that five times fast oh my gosh <laughs> But all right, so hello everyone and welcome back. And yeah, that little village idea I had legitimately came to me when I had a daydream, like while I was waking up this morning. And I was just minding my own business, laying down, and the next thing you know, oh yay, a recipe piece. The next thing you know, I was like bolting out of bed because this was early in the morning as I'm waking up before my, my little cup of tea that acts somewhat like a large learning and gives me some, some motivation to get moving for the day. Oh, hey, Patrick. Any chance you found my missing durable? Oh my gosh! I'm so sorry about that. Also, I found her! <laughs> she was here all along, and I remember looking at her before and being like, wow, that's a really, like, shiny durable. Hey, Arvin. I know, right, Arvin? I'm worried about those mystery cans, too. You found my durable. Here's a little token of my appreciation. Oh, hey, and we got a friendship sticker. I wanted you to have a friendship sticker to show my appreciation to you. Also, I've got some new hairstyles I can do for you. Yay! Maybe I will go ahead and get my hair done. Ooh, and I do love seeing those recipe stickers. And thanks for the money! Sweet! Oh geez, wow, that apparently... <laughs> that like took care of a million and a half things in town. Hey Taffy, puzzle pals indeed. I think I'm supposed to actually sell something in Cuddle Cups Cafe today. Which seems... Ooh! Is that another recipe piece? Oh no! From Bownet to the accountant. To answer your question, yes, the profits the profits tax accounts for the limited margins you've been making, but the separate revenue taxes do not account for that, so you owe the total amount I previously shared. If you like, I can request an extension. <gasps> oh no, is everything going on okay with you? Do I have, like double? Like is the Cuddle Cups Cafe in dire financial straits? Putting pompadour juice in bean juice is not the same thing as spressy. Hmm, I see. Uh, meanwhile, I'm supposed to sell you something. You know what? Would you like to go ahead and just... I, I feel like this is kind of, like, very sassy to just stroll into her coffee shop and be like, Here, I'm gonna sell you a coffee. But there we go. Task complete. Wishies obtained. Nice. Very dark in there. I hope they're enjoying themselves. Oh, hey, Officer Zuffle. 
When I first put on the police hats on my ooblets, they hated it, but I think they've finally acclimatized. Some folks are born to do the job, and others have it thrust upon their tiny little heads. <laughs> Oh, I feel for his little oops now. Wow, we didn't talk to anybody today. I must have just been on the farm all day. Nullware ooblets might be a little scary, but they're highly sought after. I know, right? I love my little marshling. Oh, and I love our new elixir. I really want to, like, name the new elixir and take good care of it. And I'm here because Basil, hello, how do you do today? I don't know how they do things and wherever you're from, but here in civilization, we just don't walk up to people and demand their attention. Well, that's great. Anyway, I was here because I heard that you wanted, like, that cupcake. How quaint a little gift. I suppose I could find some use for this. Yeah, thanks, Basil. <laughs> Maybe it would have been better not to bother talking to him. What are we trying to do for him again? Grow a moogie, that's right. And, oh, the peak snuffs pickle! Oh, I'm so far away from being able to get the pickle! And it's the Biddle's favorite treat. Do I know the Biddle yet? Let's see. Oh, look at how filled in this is now that we finally plucked up all the ooblets who had just been doomed to forever sit inside of our garden. And you know what? I really... I miss having the Shrumbo. Like, we've got Spree, and Spree is fantastic, and I feel like Spree would like some family. And I really haven't seen Shrumbo since, like, like we got Spree, so I got, I got questions about that. Oh, and our Gleamy! Yes! Can you imagine having just a bunch of, like, a citrusy, awesome orange ooblets doing some dancing for us? I, I'm really excited about that Rainbow Gleamy, too. And then we've got our, let's see, our Moggies. Oh! I think, so Moggy is what we need to go ahead and grow. And I think we have a couple Moggies just chilling in town most days. So I should probably work with them. Oh wait, who was I trying to like look up? I got distracted because all the ooblets are cute. So Biddle, Biddle. Hmm. Plub, Feeble, Tud. Oh! Oh, that's where Kim Chi's from! Oh, I'm gonna need another pickle! I'm really gonna need another pickle. And I'm, I'm gonna need, like, I think more Pompadour juice for that adorable little moggy. All right, time to head home. My ooblets don't need to be out this late at night. Could I spend a bunch of time going ahead and actually having them run around at the dance barn? Yes. Am I, oh, is this literally the moggies? <laughs> it's literally the moggies I was just talking about and they need the pompadour juice. Well, oh boy, just closed. All right, that's a sign I should go to bed. Okay, yes, and I wonder if you can put lights out here eventually, because that would be extremely convenient. But right now, I can't see a thing, so let's head to bed. I kind of want to work on making my little ooblet village, but I think I need a bit of a plan. Maybe right now we should focus on the four new houses we put down, upgrading them, and figuring out like what kind of layout we want outside on the farm and maybe we should unlock everything that we can put on the farm so we can figure out if something might make good decoration or not also <gasps> there's a new oob running around there's a mystery oob okay that's kind of important and then i think there's an uncommon moggy oh i want to go get him i just love that way they look like little chicks and i mean speaking of chicks there's literally a dumb bird <laughs> And we do have some adorable dumb bird. Rad lad, which I just have such a weakness for. Durable's running around. Glanter, marshling, gloopy long legs. There's also a new guy in nowhere. Oh, I am pixel biologist first and foremost. And I think that actually going to visit with those guys might be important. So, all right. Change of plans. Today is search out the mystery ooblet day. Because I don't even know what they might like for food yet. Oh, and apparently, like, I'm being yelled at because I've got lots of... Oh, yeah! Colorful floor lamp! Come and provide me with, like, light. Oh, wow. Okay, look, on overcast days, apparently, <laughs> you don't get a lot of light. Um, and now I have a stove. Do, do I... Can I cook at this stove? <gasps> oh, I can cook at this stove! Wow! And I think it can actually reach the chest on the other side of the room, which I deeply appreciate. Speaking of cooking, I should go ahead... Oh wait, those are my ooblet seeds. 
And this is my my secret special stash. I should probably leave these recipe pieces here so I don't lose them. And then, oops, uh, let's see, that's the oobleet accessories. And, oh, I do have an oobleet accessory to put away. And a curly horn. And a few of these other seashells. And I'm gonna leave the obsidian here until I have more nernies. And you gain nernies by fist fighting rocks on the farm. So <laughs> I'll need to work on that later too. All right. And then I have a bunch of food and snacks in my pockets. And normally I would put those away, but on the off chance that this new ooblet might enjoy like what we've got, I'm gonna go ahead and keep them. And apparently there is a lot of hankering for pompadour juice just all over the place. All right, let me grab the muzz flower. Let me grab all of these ground spring beans. Good job, you guys. And then uh, here's the flutie sauce. So wait, do I, I, I wonder if I have any pompadour juice. Oh my gosh, it's literally the pompadours. <laughs> All right, Sophie, thank you so much for helping out. I think she just wanted to like spread her little her little wings and kind of do a bit of work there. Oh good, these guys are doing the weeding. How dare all these weeds try to pop in. All right, let's harvest up all this. Good job, little guys. I might get some more muzz, like, oop, and the spring bean's ready. No, no, no I can't get distracted. Oh, hello, little one. Hey, tambourine, you still doing good? Is that tambourine? Yeah, I pet tambourine who just wobble, like wobble by, so that makes sense. All right, let's go ahead and get the muzz. Maybe not all of it, just in case I might need the muzz. Turned into muzz flower. And away we go! We need a lot of pompadour juice, but that's just gonna have to wait till we can actually access it. And let's stay focused, team! Okay, actually, to keep high spirits amongst our ooblets, Let's actually go ahead and name a couple. Oh, I have the honey honeys with me. I didn't even know that. <laughs> All right, the Wurlitzer and the Rad Lad are actually um, pretty sure I already have a Wurlitzer. Uh, but these two we can go ahead and release into the wildlands. Uh, the Marshling, I just kind of want to name him Marsh after also one of my favorite characters in um, in Brandon Sanderson's. Uh, Oh, come on. Why am I blinking? It's one of my favorites at Mistborn. There we go. I kind of want to just name him Marsh after Marsh in Mistborn. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And let me know if you guys know Marsh, because I will be so happy if you guys have read Brandon Sanderson's Mistborn. It will really bring me a lot of joy. And then I kind of feel like, do I want a name theme? Because I feel like the best citrus I know that is orange is definitely Sumo Oranges. And then the best citrus I know that is green, I mean, I only know limes. Hmm. I feel like I need more original names than that. And like, honey honeys, what are your moves? Sugar pan, oh, come on. Sugar pan shuffle is so cute. I really want to figure out, I, I, need, I need to warm up to these two a little bit longer before we figure it out. But maybe today, as we dash about, <gasps> How dare there be these cans? That's so rude. Let's collect all these, get these out of the way. Hey, Algrid. Oh, hey, Algrid, you're always next to this curly horn. I plant weeds, weeds in Basil's lawn for fun. Hey, you know, better to go ahead and have some native weeds popping around in there rather than just like having like a lawn that uses up a lot of water and doesn't even provide anything for the local pollinators. And is that the new omelet? <gasps> Bin Bin, hi! You want soggy bread? Oh my gosh, Bin Bin, you're so cute. It's a little like bird ooblet. I am such a sucker for bird ooblets. Oh, oh, come to me. Where are you over here, little Bin Bin? Like, tell me your secrets. Is this you? No, that's Tappy Tap or like Tippy Tap. Um, wait. Okay, wait. Is this Bin Bin? Because they want soggy bread? Yeah, this is the Bin Bin! Okay, and so to get soggy bread, I think soggy bread is actually one of the wishy well things. Bread Sammy. Let's see. Very, very cell cellulite lettuce? Oh, dear. I don't know if I want to do that with lettuce. I have a lot of wishies right now. Bread Sammy recipe. Do I need to go ahead and start with bread Sammy recipe before I could possibly 
like learn the soggy Sammy. It's a soggy rainy day. It feels like a perfect time to be able to go ahead. Whoops, sorry. All right, where is this mythical? You don't know this recipe, find it in the world first. Where is my soggy, is this soggy Sammy? That's bread Sammy. Hmm. There it is! Oh my gosh, I have to unlock in the wishy well first. Oh, wishy well to me! If that's the case, let's go ahead and start with unlocking the, the bread Sammy recipe. <gasps> Soggy bread recipe! There we go, that sounds disgusting! Oh my gosh, unless you're about to like turn it into French toast. Maybe that just means French toast. We have it, you guys! Okay, so now I can go ahead and make soggy bread for these adorable little soggy oobs. Uh, rain plops. <gasps> oh, I don't know if I have any rain plops. Oh, run! Search! Search and collect! We need some rain plops! There need to be rain plops just like out and about right now. Is this a recipe piece? Oh, oh my gosh, it actually is. I was just kind of being cheeky because, you know, recipe pieces are one of the best things that I can find right now since apparently I don't know how to cook. Which is a pity because in real life I adore cooking. I wish I could throw some weeds into his yard. Just, you know, weeds are much more economical. I think that it's important to make sure you're taking care of your pollinators. See, there's some plants over in Melda's yard. She's taking care of pollinators. I'm totally all into witchy stuff. Uh, the witchy stuff Ara's up to, but I'm not sure about the whole summoning evil spirits part. I want to summon cuddly spirits. A, a cuddly witch who just summons cuddle spirits. Oh my heart. I want to write that cozy fantasy book. That Melda. That honestly, that's going to be what I'm going to do. Mm. Yep. When I, After my 40s, I want to spend my 40s writing books. So I'm trying to collect ideas now. You're an amazing BFF. Let me give you a cute sticker and some treebies I made for you. Yay! Oh, a heart chair. That's kind of adorable. Spring bean seeds. I think word has gotten out in town that that's how I make my millions. I don't really have millions, but I have something. Oh, hey, Ara. You got me thinking I really should uh, start trying to fix up my printy press to work with the zines. I want to start my media empire. Would you be up for helping me scrounge up some stuff once I work out what I need? Like, of course. I literally wanted to do that last time. Hup dob! I'll make you an honorary executive editor once we start publishing. Sweet! So I think that means that I need to like check on her printy press. Oh, we're really... Let's see. Alright, she'll probably let me know then. Alright, we're... we're oh, rain blob! Aura! Yes! Oh my gosh! Let's just glance up here really quickly. See if there's any rain plops. And you know what? It's kind of a rainy day. Yeah, we already got some more lizards in here. Alright, in you go little one. A little bit of a rainy day, but I think that that's just going to make it even more comfy, especially for kind of like our plant type oobs, like this little rad lad. I legitimately probably have like a baker's dozen of rad lads out in the wildlands now. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Was that a new? Add one more gleamy ooblet to the wildlands. <gasps> Princess Bubblegum! Okay, well, we might have Princess Bubblegum hang out in there for a little bit. Because I think she's... Oh, I heard it. Where is it? <gasps> there it is! On the ground! I got it! Hello? All right. Don't have time to talk. No time to talk. I gotta go make soggy bread. Oh, and gather the pompadour juice. Sophie, you're amazing. Good job, Sophie. That pompadour juice is going to like bring a new member into the family. And it is also going to go ahead and allow me to uh, make... Patrick happy? Who wanted that? Who knows? I wish I knew where the hanker bot like information goes. Okay, so now we need to make a bread Sammy. Sure enough, we needed that muzz flour and a bunch of fructose. I think we need to work on our fructose friends. And there we go. <gasps> Soggy bread! All right. Uh, I I think we're already kind of overpowered with Spree, Sprunier, and Tea Twig on our dance abilities. But, like our dance power. Um, Tambourine, you're adorable. Hey, Princess Bubblegum, you want to come join us for just a second? We'll add you, and you might pop into the wildlands just for a moment. And Carroot! Okay, wait, that's just... What? Did I not rename you? How many rad lads do I have running around here? <laughs> oh, my word. 
All right. Uh, I could have sworn I had. I I renamed a uncommon red leather. Who's this? Kingla. You know what? Oh, he's way cuter than I thought. Oh my gosh. King Laws are rare ooblets that have somewhat double-edged moves. Oh, I want to name him Acorn because he looks like he has a little acorn on his head. <laughs> but I should probably wait until I actually have learned a little bit more about the personality and worked with an ooblet before I just like shower them with names, usually. I'll be back for you guys in a minute. All right, we're probably... What the heck? <laughs> I was going to say we're probably way overpowered, but I need to bring in more soggy bread. Please, for the love of everything that is decent to the culinary world, let the soggy bread actually be French toast. The idea of moist bread is somewhat like viscerally alarming to me. It makes me want to pull back in horror. Maybe cry out a little in protest. <laughs> Dang it, and now I'm gonna need to see if my beloved husband Chips and I can figure out how to make some gluten-free vegan um, French toast because I have not had French toast in years and that sounds amazing. Eh, you know, a lot of the gluten-free bread you buy from the store is so dry anyway. It'd probably be easy to make into French toast. All right, Bibin. Oh, Bivin, you're not a you're not a penguin. I thought Bivin was. <laughs> I am not a good bird watcher. I thought Bivin was a penguin. Bivin's more like a monkey. Monkeys and apes are the one animal group I have a hard time bonding with. I have a lot of thoughts going on in my head right now, but we're just gonna do our best. Princess Bubblegum, you wanna join in? Um, I feel like either Marsh or Kingwa. Kingwa is like brand new. He literally just hatched. Um, double edged. I think we're gonna go ahead and we're going to let Marsh join in. It'd be rude if Kingwa went first. All right, Bibin. Man, you are a monkey. My height may have decreased a little bit. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Um, all right, well, let's go ahead. Let's gain a hype, Boogie Blossom. And let's just destroy them as quickly as we can. So we're gonna gain another hype. And I think hopefully we'll just like sweep the floor in a second. Dainty Dip, all right, you know what, maybe. Uh, dainty Dip, Drizzle Drop, hmm. Hmm. Oh my gosh, showcase would be amazing. Shake the tree. All right, let's just let's just showcase. Spree is like our expert here. The wearer of the twirly glasses. Oh wait, or, dang, Spree, and then the little sachet. You're just showing them what for. So they do drizzle drop. Oh, they get a lot of hype if it's raining. Oh my gosh, they get so much hype. Okay, wait, I was not taking this seriously enough. I was not noticing that they have that ridiculous amount of hype. We are, we are equal. Oh no. Okay, opponent gets one fewer beats in each hand for the rest of the match. Oh, Marsh, that's so good. Still 12 points. Okay, there's no time. There's no time, Princess Bubblegum. We need to go ahead and we need to get moving now. Okay, one, two, um, one fewer beats might be really useful. Oh my gosh, but they didn't really use the other one. Uh, shake it, shake it. Okay, okay, let's see. Maybe six points. Ooh, okay, hmm. You know what? Like, oh man. I, we'd be just a little short of what we need. So maybe it would be good. Okay, all right, we're just gonna go with the trot. We're so close, just two points, just two points. Two hype, oh, five hype. Oh, don't escape from me. Oh my gosh, showcase, quick, go, 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 go. <laughs> We almost got washed away by these little bibbin monkeys. All right, that was actually pretty cool. They've got a lot more going for them than I thought. I'll probably name the first one Banana. Also, Spree finally hit level 10. I'm really proud of that. And Marsh got to come out and play for the first time, which is awesome. 
they should level up and yes Bibbin, thank you i guess you only come out when it rains and you wear little rain boots all right Bibbin is warming up to me Bibbin kind of reminds me of um oh that monkey the man in the yellow hat and his monkey <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that was a uh, unnecessarily dramatic adventure, but we have a new oh. ooblet. And of course, one of the most important things we do here in the pixel biology uh, community is actually, you know, like study pixel animals. And the fact that Bippin's only come out when it rains and they wear little rain booties. Oh, what the heck? Island invitation, a message in a bottle with directions to an island where some ooblets are vacationing. Use the hot air balloon to visit. Oh! Okay! And they showed up on the day we found out about a treasure island. They're little treasure hunters! That's my new headcanon! They're little treasure hunting monkeys that live best in the rain, and maybe they even raft over on like little rafts they make out of twigs and leaves. Alright, they're, they're getting more adorable by the second, the longer I think about this. But alright, if you guys could, do please leave a like for our adorable ooblets, and if you'd like to join us on this and little- Is that another bibbin? <laughs> On this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.